right, gang. Evan Sutton here. Back with uh, some more Native Instruments stuff for you. I just wanted to go over a little bit of uh, business with battery because there are some new things that happened. And also, uh, there are a couple of questions that I get from students quite often that I thought I'd like to, you know, maybe share the answer to. I hope you enjoy. Now, I've, I've took, taken the liberty of putting together a little a little drum groove for you guys. I, I hope you enjoy it. Today at, at uh, Dubspot, we had an all Moonbaton day, so I thought I'd, uh, maybe we should slow it down. So I thought I'd just do a little of that. So I put together a simple beat. Uh, now, what I wanted to talk about were a couple of the new features. Battery just got upgraded to 3.2.2. Two, which added some new features. So I wanted to take a look at those. We have a couple of things. First of all, if you go into your options, which are under file, you can now set a default kit here. And uh, if you click set current kit as default kit without samples, then you can do that. If you save your kit, you can you can set it as well. Now, the thing that's really nice about this that, that I like a lot, I have some template kits set up for Logic and, and Ableton Live which we're using right now. But the thing about this is that those template kits already are loaded usually. They have some drum sounds for me, you know, when I'm getting home at the end of the day and I'm kicking down the door because I've got an idea and I just need to get it out so I have a kit that I can call up. Well, perhaps you want to be able to uh, uh, save a kit that's totally empty. So you could go through here and uh, you could just MIDI learn all of the all of the keys to your controller and save the kit that way. Because this is this is one of the biggest things that uh, you know that we have to do, and especially if you use a different kind of controller. I use a machine right here, so it's pretty flexible. Uh, but if you have another type of grid controller that's a little bit less flexible, then it's a really nice thing to be able to do this. And you can you could just set like basically a drag and drop preset where it's empty; it doesn't have any samples in it. But you could very easily just have all of your MIDI information saved so that it's ready to go right out of the box. The other new thing I'm just going to go back and I'm going to bring up that. Uh, that kit that I had a moment ago. The other new thing that I really like, and there are a few more new things, but this is one of the big ones, is uh, there's this new saturator setting for drum, and it's especially useful for drum sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this play. I'm gonna solo the, the snare drum. We're gonna use the saturator. The saturator is gonna give us a, a little bit of tape style saturation. We can do negative saturation or po positive saturation. Uh, make this drum a little bit harsher if we want. Uh, here's the thing. This D stands for drum. So this is an additional saturator uh, algorithm that's uh, specifically for drum sounds. It's a good deal less harsh. You might find it useful uh, if you're trying to get just some warmth out of your drum sounds. It's especially nice for... Uh, for realistic sounds. Let's, let's listen to another. Let's listen to it on this hi-hat. Just the hi-hat. I, I had all of my drums selected. We just want to listen to this hi-hat by itself. So I'll go ahead and solo it. Pull the output down. So it's a little warmer, gives it a nice, gives it some nice, uh, some nice glowing edges there. I like it. I find it really useful. I like saturation. It can give a lot of character to sounds, and this is just another uh, personality that you can have. Now there are a couple of more uh, new things that are going on. Uh, for example, new 64-bit support for VST plugin operations. Uh, you can also import files now from an MPC 5000 and. Uh, things like a Drumagog or a Korg Triton. And uh, the convolution reverb back here, uh, if you go to Impulse, uh, this is now a zero latency convolution uh, engine. So it'll perform much better. I know that I've crashed this a couple times, but now, now things are running nice and clean. But my favorite things here are the, uh, the default kit and the saturation. Now what we're gonna do with this, the big question here is how to get this battery kit all split up. What I'd like to do is be able to fan out all of my outputs from my drums, or at least in groups, uh, to 
go to different faders in Ableton Live so that I can treat these sounds differently. We've got lots of options for, for treating the sounds uh, inside of battery, but sometimes we want to use our own plugins, uh, especially for mix type stuff. For me, it's nice to have them in faders. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create, uh, let's say, I'm going to create three new audio tracks. All right. And we're going to go ahead and open battery up. And I'm going to select all of my kick drums by holding down the command key and just clicking on them. And if you go to cell, there's a drop down menu here. And you can go ahead and choose the channel that you want to use. So we've got some stereo pairs and then we've got some mono channels. I'm going to choose uh, stereo three and four. And so now when we hit these kick drums, uh, we're not going to hear them because they're going to a different channel. So if we jump down here to uh, audio from in, uh, in Ableton Live, we'll choose battery three and then three slash four. So now when I hit this, We'll see the audio, and you can see right here that that, that this the, this input is lighting up. The thing that we have to do to make sure that we're hearing it all the time is switch the monitor mode to in. This means that we're listening to what's coming through this monitor at all times. So now the kick drums are coming through this channel. I'll rename it Kicks. Kid tested, mother approved. Are these the kind with all the colors? Nope, just the color of corn. Yeah. All right, uh, then for the next one, I'll go back into battery here. Maybe I'll take my snares. And you can have quite a few of these. You can use all, you can use all of these channels if you want to. I'm just using a few. I'm just doing some sub mixes uh, for the different groups of instruments. But you can, you can feel free to go crazy. So this one I'll go ahead and make battery three, five, six. I'll call it snare. I like to say that I'm in your snaria. <laughs> really? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Wow. So I can foresee where this is going to go. I'm going to switch this one to seven and eight, go back to battery, and I can switch all of my hi hats to stereo seven and eight. Now I just have to switch the monitor modes to in. So that's pretty good. Uh, what this lets us do now is is solo these different parts really easily without jumping into battery. So I can go in and I can, you know, grab a nice simple uh, EQ here and just and just throw it on all of my kick drums. So I'll go ahead and listen to this. I can solo it nice and easy. Maybe I'll jump in here. This is a an EQ technique I really like get rid of some of the low heavy stuff make hollow it out a little bit and then use a, a low shelf to boost we do this every day in the courses at, at dubspot so now i've got that maybe i'll throw a compressor on it nice and easy and i can pull it pull down the gain on this eq to give myself some headroom Just a little bit of compression. So now, now all my kick drums are a little bit unified. It's nice to compress all of them uh, together, at least lightly. So we could do the same thing with the snares if we wanted. Oh, and then hats. All right. Like Mike Hatsis, although he doesn't spell it with Z's. But I've been suggesting it to him. I think it would be cool. So the other thing that I can do here, of course, which is really nice, is uh, is is use a reverb, actually. So I'm going to use a preset. Let's just grab uh, room. And how about uh, snare room? What could be more fitting? We'll give this thing a little bit of space. Uh, I'm going to put the dry wet all the way up to 100 and up the diffuse a little bit. And now we can use individual sounds out of battery in our returns, uh, which was quite difficult to do before considering we had to send all of our battery sounds to it. Just Just 
kicks and the get a little hi-hat in there. Pretty simple. So we've got some cool stuff going on. Uh, it's a nice thing to do. And keep in mind, you can use uh, this battery channel, the master in battery. Uh, you can use it in the original battery channel strip that does count as a stereo mix. That's why we don't see uh, one and two over here. So also the other thing to keep in mind here is that the sequence still stays inside of battery, uh, the original battery channel strip. So the sequence is all in one, which I personally like because I can edit it all together and make changes, do some groove quantization if I want to. Uh, I think that it's, I think it's a really good thing. So it's a little sterile right now. Maybe I'll just jump in here. Use the saturator. Ooh, I like that. Let's do it on the kick too. What the heck? You know what I'm gonna do here now? I'm gonna turn on lo-fi. And we're going to manipulate the sample right here. And I'm going to go to modulation and create an LFO. And that is going to modulate the sample rate. I'm going to have it so it doesn't get triggered. It's going to go a little quick. We're going to get some nice, some nice changes uh, to the sound. Nice and random. It's really going to liven it up. See every time I hit it. So we've got some different things going on. Maybe tune this guy down a little bit. And I can really easily just jump into the sequence here. And I can grab the snare sound and I can just double it. Maybe up one more. It's a little clap sound I put together. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Evan Sutton. I'm here at DubSpot hanging out, making music. Uh, stay tuned for the next part. We're going to add a bass line to this. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.